When your bunny goes home from surgery, he'll be sent home with Medicam, which is a pain reliever. And there are a couple of ways that you can do this uh, procedure. The first thing to know about bunnies and medicine is that they have to be on a table with something soft. The ground is their territory and they, they'll run from you and you will never accomplish this. Under this towel, we use um, this, this stuff that you can get for, for um, uh, lining in a drawer and it gives a little bit of traction and then the towel is over it. If I want to try and give him his medicine, which is what people want to do, they just sort of want to aim towards the mouth. Um, they don't like things going in their mouth. They resist it. And the first thing he's going to do is back up and he'll be on the floor and, and he can hurt himself. So the way we give medicines here, you bring the bunny up close to you and you snuggle him and I'm going to put my body over him. I'm not squashing him, but he's tightly held, firmly held, not tight. And my arms are locked behind me. So if he wants to move back, he is unable to. Now his nose is, his mouth is under here. I can't see that and I'm not gonna do a handstand to see it. So I'm gonna take the flat of my hand, lift up his head a little bit and then I can see, see he's not too happy about it. I can see his lips and that's what you wanna to go to. Don't head for the middle because that's where his teeth are. What you have to do is you're gonna use the tip of this syringe and gently lift up his lips and put it in. Now he doesn't like it, but the minute that you can get an opening where they start licking or they have the syringe in their mouth, then you slowly give it to them. Um, this happens to be a bigger dose of, of, of medication than you would be going when you t than you would be giving when you're going home. But the key to this is don't grab him at his head. He can move it if he wants. Lift his head up until you can see what you're doing. Gently put the, put the syringe here by his mouth and see, he can move his head, he can move. He can do anything he wants to with his head. And sometimes it takes persistence. We picked him because he's not an easy rabbit. So you can keep trying and eventually he'll get it in his mouth. See that? It took a couple of tries, but he eventually took it. Okay, so we're gonna repeat the holding technique because that is the most important thing. So when you put him on this towel, you're not going to have your body away from him. His body's gonna be up to you. My arm is gonna close behind him and I'm gonna snuggle him against me and I'm gonna lean on him. I'm not squishing him, holding him tight. I'm just leaning on him and my breast here is keeping him uh, in place. Now, here we're gonna go try giving him his medication again and so what's stopping him from moving forward is the fact that he's bumping up against my breast here. So this, let's see, let's see, he still doesn't, not happy, but eventually we're gonna get it on take number three or four. But he, see, he can move, he can, he can uh, lift his legs a little bit if he feels like it, but eventually we'll get it in. It's okay, the way I'm holding him allows him free reign of what he can do with his head, but he can't move his body around, okay? And this you're going to be doing for, depends, three to five days. The other thing that you can do if they like, um, they like fruits, the what I do in my house is I'll take the syringe, dump it in applesauce, and he happens to be, he loves applesauce, so while he's licking the applesauce on the outside of the syringe, you can give him his medication.